welcome back to another video all about Squarespace. My name is Cinnamon Wolf. I'm a private photo editor and business coach and a little bit of a Squarespace ninja. So let's get to this video. We are talking today about four things every Squarespace user should be doing on their website. Okay, let me pull up my website. I'm just going to show you these four things on the back of my site so that you can easily see what's going on. So the first thing that every Squarespace user should do is update their footer. So a lot of times Squarespace templates come with just a basic footer that says powered by Squarespace included in a text box. Um, and I think every single Squarespace user should delete that and add in their own information in their footer. So I am going to show you my footer information. My footer is pretty lengthy, um, but I think it's helpful because it's just a lot of good information that is basically featured on every single page of my website. So in my footer, I'm on the brain template and I have actually have lots of options in, in my footer. I have top blocks, I have middle blocks, I have a navigation bar, and I actually have bottom blocks, which I'm actually not using. So let's talk a little bit about what I have in mind. So I have a general newsletter opt-in that I have included on every single page of my website because it's on my footer. I have some featured on image blocks that link out to the specific um, websites that I've been featured on. I also have just a general logo for brand recognition. I have my tagline helping overwhelmed photographers and creative business owners run better businesses. I have my email address, my copyright, my social media links, and my bottom navigation. So you can see that this is a lot of super helpful information in my footer. And no matter what page of the my site, a visitor is on, they will have access to all of this information. Okay, the second thing that Squarespace users should do is update their location on their blog post. Now, this is not something that a lot of people talk about. I'm going to go ahead and go to my blog. And I'm just going to click on my most recent post and I'm going to click edit so that the edit screen shows up. And you will see when you are in your blog post editor, you have this option right here for location. This is not something that a lot of people mess with, but I definitely think you should especially if you are a location-based business. So I'm going to click on that and you have the option right here to say your business name, your address, your city, state, and your country. So I always update my business name and my actual city location just because um, Google reads this on every blog post. And if it's matching the information that you already have out there in Google, it's only going to help your SEO ranking. So I definitely encourage everybody to update this information with your actual location on every single blog post that you have published. If you have not done this, you can go back to those blog posts and just update that information. It's not going to hurt you and definitely do it uh, going forward. Okay, the third thing that we want to make sure that we have updated on our Squarespace websites is our 404 page. So if you are not familiar with 404 pages, if somebody ends up on a broken link, if somehow one of the links to your website ends up being broken, which happens a lot, um, they get uh, popped over to what's called a 404 page. Now you can customize your 404 page. A lot of people don't know this, um, but you can actually create a page on your site and redirect people to a specific place that they might want to go instead of having just a generic 404 page that doesn't give them any other information. So it's very simple to do this. All you have to do is create a brand new page and title it your 404 page. Design it however you want. Let me show you mine. Mine is right here. It's called Oops. So I have just uh, designed this page to have a simple image and then have some text that says, oops, what happened? Something's not working right. Let's get you back to where you want to go. And then I put some options here. Are you looking for the blog? Are you wanting to contact me? Are you looking for my photography website? Or are you trying to listen to the podcast? So I'm just giving places for people to go. And of course, my navigation is up here as well. But these are just additional places in case somebody ends up on a 404 page. Now, how do you tell your the 404 to go to this page? Couldn't be easier. We're going to go back to our main navigation or settings. We're going to click on design. And then we're going to click on this not found 404 page section. And we just assign which page we want to display if uh, somebody hits on a 404. So I, uh, you can pick from all the different pages you have on your site. So I have designated the oops page to be my 404 page. Um, if somebody ends up to that when, you know, the server is unable to locate a page, 
uh, because of a dead link, something of that nature. So a lot of people who use Squarespace don't know that you can do that. So that's definitely something every Squarespace user should include on their website. Okay, the last thing that every user should update is also in the design section under logo and title. And this is updating your favicon. So if you are not sure what a favicon is, a favicon shows up here in the tab of your website. I'm using currently right now Google Chrome. If you do not have your favicon updated, it will show the little gray box um, that's associated with the Squarespace logo. So I'm a big fan of your website being as professional and unattached to Squarespace as possible, just because it's more professional not to kind of advertise for Squarespace, you're advertising for yourself. So make sure you get that uh, favicon updated. If you have a brand that's designed for you, your brand designer should be able to create that for you fairly easily. And then you can just upload that again in the design section under logo and title you'll see the option to upload your favicon at that point and give it just a couple of minutes to refresh and then it will show this little section up here in the tab, um, it's spe specifically in this one in the Google Chrome browser. So, okay, there you go. Four things every Squarespace user should do. I hope you found those helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It's very helpful for me to, to help other people find find this content about Squarespace um, and go ahead and give the video a like. And also if you want to click that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I add up a new video into YouTube. So thank you so much for visiting. Again, hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment below and we will talk soon. Bye guys.